Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thanks for visiting. So today I got a different setup here, but today we're gonna be doing a review of the Donut Macaroon Tiny. Um, I got this for my wife a few weeks back, or a few months back actually. I got this through the official website DonutOfficial.com. So Donut is like a, a Hong Kong company. It's really hard to find these types of bags if you're in North America. So that's the reason why I got it through um, DonutOfficial.com. If you're in Asia, they have a lot of physical stores in Asia. Like in the Philippines, you can find actual stores in some SM, Trinoma, Ayala, um, there's Glorieta, Roostans. You can also buy them online at DonutPhilippines.com or you can also get them on Zalora, Lazada, and Shopee. So let's open it. Let's take a look what we got. So that's what it looks like. I got this for 50 US dollars. This is what it looks like in the front, and this is the back. According to their website, the material they use on their macaroon bags is a heavy twill with a crinkle finish, which is a very durable waterproof material from Korea. I'm not really sure if it is waterproof even during a downpour. I think it can resist water if it's a light shower or a mist from Niagara Falls. They also claim that it's lightweight compared to other waterproof nylon and it comes in a variety of colors. The macaroon tiny comes in 12 color options. I got this one in navy because the navy color combined with the brass metal findings and the dark brown leather, which is real leather by the way, gives the bag a vintage look. There's also a ribbon version for 60 US dollars. But I know my wife will like this style more because it's simple and clean. Like the name suggests, it is a tiny bag. I wasn't really expecting it to be this tiny. So at the front is a tiny pocket. And to access this pocket is you have to unbutton this button. Like that. And like this. And that's the pocket in the front. I don't know if you can see that. This one is not really adjustable. There, it's fixed, so you can't really make an adjustment. For that, and the donut logo is in the front. You have a donut logo. And on the top, there's a, a clasp that holds the carrying handles together. To access the main compartment is you unbutton this clasp. The clasp is you can really, you could move it from side to side, right? But it doesn't really give you that clean look. So, because it doesn't really go all the way down so it is visible still like the can can sling if you you are able to move the clasp all the way down here to, to hide it and give it a clean look so this is the main compartment there's a pocket inside I don't know if you can see it and there is, uh, I think, silica, so to keep the moisture out. And there is, um, what is this? It's, hey, this is really cool. Look, there's a card that comes with this bag. I don't know if you can see it. Um, it's to ensure the authenticity of the bag. 
So what you do is you scan this Q QR code on your phone and you scratch this uh, silver silver bar and it'll expose like digits and you input that digits on their website and then that way it ensures you that you received an authentic uh, donut bag so it's ensuring your authenticity of the bag basically that's really cool that's the first time I've seen something like this so yeah um, it's basically the size of my hand inside of the bag so that's how big the the main compartment is I don't know if I I may even be able to fit some of my stuff from work so I got my notes from work if you guys want to check it out so I make notes of all my machinery at work like how it functions and everything like that pretty cool right so diagrams how it works and everything yeah so I'm gonna try putting these in my wife's uh, macaroon tiny and see if they fit Well, it does fit, but you still have some room. I don't know. Yeah, so I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but I found something really cool. If I can't, I can't, I'm not really sure if you can see it. But there's the donut logo, it says donut, and right there, it's like their logo, mountains, small mountains. Can you see it? So, I'll pull this up. So this strap, I'm not sure what material they use for it. Um, it is removable, so the way you remove it is like this and like this. Then you can put it inside. Like that. So you can carry your tiny bag like this. That's what it looks like. <laughs> so that's what the back looks like. So I'm not really sure what what this buckle is for. Because the strap connects from here to here. I'm not really sure why it would connect here to here. I don't know. Maybe it's for the belt, I guess. You can hook it up to your belt. If you have a belt, I don't know. So, we have a company tag that says Donut. And their slogan is Donut, pack your dream. So, Donut, pack your dream. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is. This one is oh. It says pack your dream. And then right there. The next one is it says special feature. It says real leather trimming. And then the next one is special feature water resistant. And then on the back, it's their website, donutofficial.com. It says navy here, the color navy and the UPC. 
So overall, for $50 US, I think it's worth it. I know my, li my wife would really like this. This bag. Um, just let me get the... Just let me get my wife's can can sling and we'll do a side by side comparison. So, as you can see, the design of this bag is very similar to the can can sling. The size is three fourths the size of the can can. The material of the donut is smooth and soft to the touch, while the can cans is waxy. So, the pockets, the front pockets, for the can, -can it's the zipper and the donut is a button. For me personally, I would prefer the button because for zipper, it's kind of hard to access because of this part here. For the donut, for the buttons, I can just open this one and I can lift this up. Right, and I'm able to access the the front pocket. Um, I don't know what my wife has in here. So if she has a, a lip balm, I think, and a keychain. Oh, keys. Oh, wicked. Um. There's something I want to share with you guys. It's it says I heart Milan. I got this when I went on a business trip to buy machines for my company. My thoughts and prayers go out to Italy during these trying times. I made a couple friends there. I hope everyone is doing well and doing okay there during this time. Um, yes, yeah, so. I'm gonna try to see if these would fit in the donut. Well, what do you know? It does fit. <laughs> so I think basically they're the front pockets are almost the same size. Is there able that was able to fit? So yeah, I would pick this pocket over this pocket. Um, so about the about the clasp and the handle, as you can see, like for the donut, there's not much room for you to carry. Well, compared to the can can, <coughs> the clasp is for the can can is you can move this all the way down. So you can get a clean look, right? With the donut, you can't really move it all the way down, so it's still visible. And if you want to carry it like this, it's kind of... I guess you could, but there's not much really of a room for you, for your fingers. Here, it's it's comfortable. So I give it to the Ken Ken. So that's what they look like in the front. The side actually there's side pockets for the can can there are no side pockets for the donut so that's the side this is the back and there's no back pocket for the donut there is a back pocket for the can can other side and front. Um, another thing is let's close this up so see what I noticed also is the donut right it only goes from half of the bag. If you open the main compartment, it only opens halfway, right? For Kankin, you can 
open it all the way down. So all the way on each side. I think you know what I should do? What's in my wife's bag? Thing is if I do it I'll do it in the next video, but I'm not sure if I can put everything back together the way she does it. So I might get killed for it. But yeah, I'll do another video for it for you guys on it. I don't think what she has would even fit in this bag. Unless I remove Yeah, it's not gonna fit. Well maybe well yeah it does fit back then. But that's the only thing you can put in. Yeah. She also has alcohol. Yeah, so if you don't carry much stuff, so just like a coin purse, wallet, cell phone, alcohol, um, I guess, yeah, I would go with this bag. If you're carrying more stuff than that, then I would go with the can can. There's more room. You got, you got a main compartment, a back pocket, a front pocket. Two side pockets. Yeah, so I would go with the can can. But but the design of this is really nice. It gives you a vintage look. So it's up to you guys. Okay, so we're gonna try putting her essentials. So basically that would be like say alcohol, cell phone. What else does she have? Uh, wallet. So let's see if these would fit. So the alcohol, cell phone, wallet, and say a pen. Yep, it would. It fits. You still have room to add more stuff. So yeah, it would be. That would be nice. Yeah, so if you guys are planning on picking this up, I I recommend it on donutofficial.com or donutphilippines.com. So I definitely recommend this for 50 US dollars. You can only put so much in here, but my wife can just put her essential stuff here and it's perfect for running errands like going to the store. Actually, I want to try something. I want to see if this bag would fit in the can can. So let's see. I'm not sure if it would fit. It might. I don't think it would. Actually, it does fit. It does fit. So, so it does fit. The donut macaroon tiny does fit in a can can sling. Crazy, isn't it? So, that's it for my review of the donut macaroon tiny. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe to my channel. Um, stay safe everyone and God bless. Thank you.